So the Lord expects you to fight. Hello? The Lord expects you to engage the enemy. The Lord expects you to defend your territory. The Lord expects you to have dominion. And by the definition of the word dominion, that is you have a domain that is under your control. You ought to be the principality over the city. That before anything can happen, permission will be taken from you. Amen. So put on the God's complete set of armor provided for us so that you will be protected as you fight against the evil strategies of the accusers. So the Lord is not expecting us to back out. He is expecting us to engage with the enemy. You know how the Bible in James chapter 4 verse 7 says, Submit yourself to God. Resist the devil. Nobody is going to do that for you. In case you are still patronizing all those Jehovah Jehovah prophets. Excuse me. There is a portion of fight that is meant for you. And you have to fight it. Oh, when they are pressing your, your neck in the night. Be, you could have died before you woke up and start calling you a prophet. You need to stand where God has assigned for you. I'm always irritated when I hear about believers resigning or, or uh, leaving a job because there was a, a form of uh, oppression or something. Excuse me, you are not doing what you ought to be doing. Read about Daniel again. You understand that heaven has assigned wherever you are at for, your, for you, for you to control how things are done there. Until they bow to your God, you are not supposed to leave.